Well, here we are in midsummer, and two months ago, near the middle to end of May, most conifer trees were under attack, and they're under attack by the needle cast fungi. And these are fungal pathogens that start their life cycle in the spring when the buds of the conifers are elongating and are soft the spores of the needle cast fungi generally will land on those needles germinate invade or infect the needle and there it will stay all summer so once that needle cast fungus gets into the needle infects the needle it will ramify the needle and it will do this so subtly that you won't even know the needles have been infected. Maybe at the end of summer, fall, you'll start to see some yellowing. And then spring arrives after winter and the fungus, the pathogen, will be done ramifying the tissues and it's now time for it to reproduce. So it will emerge from the needle, produce its fruiting bodies, and emit spores. Those spores in spring will land on the elongating tissues of the newly budding branches and begin the process over again. Now those infected needles that we were talking about aren't through yet. They will hang on for a little while longer and then in late spring, early summer, those needles will fall or cast. So those needles that were infected a year before will then fall off more than a year later, but not before spreading their spores. It is up to you to manage that disease. Now every conifer has its own uh, needle casting diseases. So the pines have their needle casting diseases such as Lophodermium. The spruce have their needle casting diseases such as Rhizosphera and Douglas fir has needle casting diseases such as rab decline or Swiss needle cast. Most of them are managed in the same way. First, you want to set the trees out in a way that the needles will dry because those spores are spread by wind and rain. When it's windy, when it's rainy, uh, when the temperatures have warmed up and when those buds have broken and the tissues are elongating and soft, that's conducive for infection. Remember, you won't see the needle cast disease for a year later, but that's prime for infection at that point. And that's the time you want to put out any kind of therapeutic chemical management, such as a fungicide. But remember, there are so many other horticultural techniques that you could be using. Get, set the trees further apart so the wind can dry those needles down. Get rid of the weeds that will allow the, the moisture to stay on the needles longer. Moist needles is the enemy at that, at that particular junction. Uh, and after you use your horticultural techniques, then there are the chemical techniques and chemical management you can use for needle cast diseases.